Hello, my name is Eric Anderson. I'm a statistical geneticist with the National Marine Fisheries Service, and I'm going to be joined by Matthew Stevens, who is a professor in the departments of human genetics and statistics at the University of Chicago. And we're going to be teaching module 15, which is MCMC or Markov Chain Monte Carlo for genetics at the Summer Institute in Statistical Genetics in Seattle this year. Matthew and I have taught this course a number of times in the past, and we really enjoy it. The course covers the fundamentals of Markov Chain Monte Carlo and several applications of that method that are central to statistical genetics. Although MCMC was formally introduced in the late 1940s and was, you, know, you can see right here, the first paper on it, and it was in use long before that and really has enjoyed uh, applications in a number of different fields, when you first start looking into it, it can seem a little mysterious. Fortunately, it relies on just a small handful of fundamental ideas from probability and statistics. And once you peel back the jargon and the mathematical notation that typically surround this topic, you will likely be surprised by how relatively simple the underlying ideas of MCMC are. So in order to help you out with that sort of transition, Matthew and I have developed a course that provides three intertwined avenues for learning Markov Chain Monte Carlo. First off, we will cover a little bit of the necessary jargon and some unavoidable equations. But then second, each concept and equation will be further explored in a more visual fashion. So we've prepared a series of different animations that really bring this topic to light and let you see fundamental ideas about how things work in Markov chains and how limiting distributions work. And then finally, we provide practical sessions that give all students the chance to implement small MCMC algorithms themselves using the R programming language. I personally don't feel like I truly understand any new algorithm until I've implemented it myself, and we've been really happy to see how these exercises help cement the ideas of MCMC for many of our students. The course this year, because of the pandemic, will be structured as a series of pre-recorded lectures available ahead of time to the students, complemented by morning and afternoon interactive video discussion sessions with me and Matthew. The first day's worth of lectures cover fundamental topics for the theory of Monte Carlo and Markov chain Monte Carlo. Matthew starts off with a lecture on basic probability and statistics with an emphasis on Bayesian statistics for which MCMC is really useful. I've seen this lecture probably a dozen times and I still enjoy hearing it. Uh, after that, I will cover some basics of the Monte Carlo method and then basics of Markov chains before merging the two of those into MCMC, right? Then these ideas are immediately solidified by going back to R and working on a number of small cases where we let you implement your own MCMC samplers and then experiment with the results. So we wrap up that first day then by considering Markov chain Monte Carlo in two dimensions um, with a small sample, for, an example from statistical genetics uh, and a considerable amount of visualization of this type of sampling where you're sampling over different components within a multidimensional variable. The following day, we focus on applications of MCMC and statistical genetics. I'll start off describing the paper uh, about the program structure. I'll actually just describe the program structure and we'll introduce the model underlying that um, as um, an elaboration of a finite mixture model. And in order to do this, we'll spend quite a bit of time learning to understand acyclic directed graphs or what are called DAGs, and those will really help us to get our head around these somewhat more complex models and understand how MCMC can be applied to samples from those models. We'll also get a chance to see a simulation of structure in action 
um, which is kind of a nice way of understanding how these hundreds of variables can be updated at once. Uh, after that, Matthew proceeds with a discussion of um, the inference of haplotypes from genotype data and talks about the role of MCMC in those applications, which is a, a critical application in statistical genetics. On the last day, we'll consider some special topics, uh, such as reversible jump MCMC and um, Markov metropolis coupled MCMC, or what's sometimes called simulated tempering. And we'll also discuss the correspondence between that and optimization techniques like simulated annealing. So we hope you'll consider taking our course. Once again, that's Module 15, MCMC for Genetics. We're really excited about the format of the course this year, and we're looking forward to our students having time to go through the pre-recorded lectures and then come at us with a lot of questions during the discussion sessions. All right. Have a great day.